Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Alice's Kitchen. Now in today's video, my mom will be preparing Jamaican rice and peas, cow feet, fried chicken, and different types of vegetables for you guys today. Okay, now let us kick. we already went ahead and we seasoned the cow feet already we add um at least all the ingredients that i use for the cow foot down in the description below so be sure to check that out now she's gonna be searing off the cow feet and she's gonna be tear um turning it so it doesn't burn and stuff now she's gonna pressure it as you guys can see she's gonna be cooking it in a pressure cooker which means that it takes less less time to cook if you're cooking it in a regular pan yeah so she's gonna add Four cups of water then she's gonna cover it and allow it to pressure for about 20 to 25 minutes now guys while the cow feet is being pressured we're just gonna cook our peas and we're gonna be blending our coconut milk while that peas is being cut so guys, after 25 minutes, our cow foot is finally cooked and she's checking it. And as you guys can see, it's fully cooked, real tender and nice. So now she's going to be adding carrots too. You guys can go ahead and substitute carrots for um, broad bean. If you guys don't have broad bean, you can use the carrot, yeah? And then you're going to flavor it with like ketchup if you guys want. It's an op optional ingredient if you guys want to add that or not. Now guys, it's time to season the peas. Now before that, we're gonna be straining the coconut, yeah? Now to strain the coconut, you're gonna need a strainer to strain that, and my mom is gonna be using her hand just to like squeeze the milk from the coconut thingy. And she's gonna add the coconut milk to the pot alongside the season, um, scallion, pepper, and thyme. And you guys can also add um, butter if you guys want. And remember to add salt to flavor. So guys, after she added the season, we're going to allow this to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes on medium heat. Just so the coconut can cook because we don't want it to become sour like a day or so after. Yeah, now we're adding the rice and we're going to allow the rice to steam for an additional 15 to 20 minutes also on medium heat because we're steaming the rice now at this point. So guys, we're moving over to the chicken. Now, she always flavored her oil, guys, when she's frying chicken because according to her, it gives the chicken additional flavor. Okay, this is not something that I do. Sometimes I'll do it, but, you know, if I don't have the time, I don't do it. And this is also optional, okay? Now, for the chicken, we went ahead and we seasoned that overnight, but I will be sure to list all the ingredients and the measurements down in the description below. Now, guys, she add flour to that chicken. Now, she's going to be adding it to that oil and and that oil is heating for about three minutes or so on medium heat don't make sure guys that the oil isn't too hot because you don't want your chicken outside to burn and the inside isn't fully cooked okay but you want to cook your chicken for about 10 minutes or so on each side on medium heat
and look how delicious that looks guys we're turning the chicken and this is after about 12 minutes or so on medium heat And guys, this is a final product. We went ahead and we paired that with some tossed vegetables, which include lettuce, carrot, cucumber, and tomato. We also had plantains, and I garnished that with some oregano that was in my backyard, guys. I love you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet. Turn on your post notifications so you can get notified when I post new videos. And I love you guys so much for stopping by. Bye!